there he is. <laughs> there he is indeed. Uh, we unfortunately finally have what we asked for, except I was not ready for it. Guys, this is it. We've been asking for this guy for the last, well, I don't know, few days. We finally have it in front of us uh, after just taking down its mega form yesterday. The Uber Dinopithecus is right before our eyes. I, 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 I literally just froze there for a second. I thought, I'm going to try and kill some Megas and see if I can get an Uber summoned in before we even start today's video. And, uh, well, I guess I got my wish because there it is beneath us. Now, obviously, we took down the Mega yesterday. That there was a riot in itself. It despawned twice before we actually got a kill on it. Uh, what makes this one extra difficult is this one actually has a uh, a despawn time on it. We got 30 minutes to kill this thing before it despawns. And um, I, well, I don't really, yeah, I'm kind of terrified, not gonna lie. I was scared enough of the mega version of this thing. And now we've got the uber mega version and I don't even know where it's gotten to. So let me quickly go and uh, have a little search. The dude's got 2 million health, which is a lot more than what yesterday's did. Not gonna lie, I'm also kind of tempted to just throw some mega walls up and get him trapped in this cave. There it is. Just uh, to, to point it out to all of you guys. I'm trying to zoom in. Uh, I don't know much about this guy. Other than he's probably going to kick my butt. And we're probably going to lose some teams to it. But despite that, I still want to fight it. In fact, we don't really have a choice. Um, we're going to whip it back to base. Because I got a few little things that we need to attend to before we go and fight this giant monkey beast. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Sorry if I was a little bit stunned right there. That was literally the first Mega Dragon that I killed. I was like, I'm just going to summon in Megas and kill them until we get what we're looking for and hopefully get an Uber. Uh, well, yeah, but the Uber, the Uber summoned in, all right. Now, the question is, what are we going to... I was I didn't even have a... I didn't even have a Kairuku on my shoulder for that fight. What an absolute banana. Yeah, I went in pretty blind just then. I didn't even have any cooked meat in my inventory. I probably should have had some of that as well. But I don't know if you were paying attention to the health bars. We nearly just lost our dragon to that dragon. So, uh, yeah, it, whatever. Okay, we're just we're just going to keep on pushing on. Like, no, no stupid mistakes were ever made just then. Or nearly made, I suppose. Speaking of stupid mistakes, do you remember the other day how we took out our, uh, our primal Megapithecus? We, we sent him to his death. He died pretty instantly to the Uber King Kong. Well, guess what? He wasn't maxed out. Uh, he had all these levels, but you know what? I forgot to feed him one of these. A prime mega gorilla head, which would have pumped him up an extra 50%, which I can't believe I forgot that. I cannot believe I forgot that. Uh, silly mistake. Very amateur mistake. Also, do you know what yesterday's kill got us? This and Ascendant Lava Golem Enhanced Saddle. So now if we do get another Primal Rock Golem, we can throw a near perfect saddle on its back and it can maybe stay alive that tiny little bit longer. Anyways, maybe we can send this gorilla to its death as well. <laughs> because why not, right? Uh, maybe I can take this guy in to fight the Dino Pithecus while it's inside of the cave there. I'm thinking what we could do is pump up the health, pump up the torpidity, and then I don't really know what else we can really pump up to help us out here but maybe some melee damage as well maybe even some stamina i really i really don't know but like just pump all of that up hop on his back we can feed him oh we should imprint him first all right actually is he imprinted yet he is not imprinted yet all right we'll walk him over here i don't know just something different we'll see what we can do with some of these other dinosaurs I don't think we're going to get much use of out of them like otherwise, basically. So we may as well, you know, try some new things against this guy. Especially because I'm about 90% certain we're going to get our bot whooped. Anyways, let's go and give you your... Did it work? Did he consume the head? He did. And he's got even more health and hopefully more everything else now as well. Well, yeah, like I said, I'm going to take this guy in. Oh, the only thing is... Mmm. Okay, this is where things are going to get a little interesting. We're going to have to leave... Oh, wait. My guy needs... Oh, I forgot this guy gets extra stat buffs by equipping hearts as well as element. Should we just get straight in there and see what happens? Because that's kind of what I'm thinking of doing right now. But yeah, kind of what I was saying was the problem here is if, uh, if we ruin this, there's really no turning back. <laughs> I'm just going to jump down there and see what happens. We are 100% about to lose this guy. And so be it. I just got dismounted already. Uh, well, okay then. Just do what you're gonna do there, mate. Kick his butt. At least hit him a few times. Oh, he's frozen. Oh, he's frozen. 
Come on, hit him with a few rocks at least. Oh, he's going to die. He's dead instantly. He's literally... He can't even do anything. Can I pick him up? Is it too late? Oh, he's throwing some rocks. Hey, he's dealt like 300,000 damage. Come on, buddy. <laughs> I'm so terrified right now. Keep doing it. Yes, and again. Oh, you banana, what are you doing? What are you doing? Just, just hit the darn guy. Should I, I should pick him up. I should pick him up. I'm trying to pick him up. Also, I don't know. This is kind of just... Okay, there it is. <laughs> I knew it was coming. I knew it was coming. I was like, why am I still alive right now? Uh, I don't know. I, I, I tried to fire off a few shots to try and pick the guy up. And it just wasn't... It just... It, they weren't sticking. I had to get closer. Whatever. I don't even know if the Dinopithecus is dead. But it did deal a good amount of damage. So, at least now, we know that we can... Well, I don't know. We can send some... Maybe I just send some of these Rexes in to do my dirty work for me. No, mm, we should, probably shouldn't do that. In fact, we got to go and re-gear now. Like, really got to re-gear now. So, let's get some more of these little pygmies cloned up. <laughs> I can't believe that's how it played out. <laughs> oh, goodness. Uh, yeah, I, okay. I'm honestly tempted to... Either we throw a lot of dragon not dragons either we throw a lot of t-rexes at this thing until it eventually dies or we use the same strategy we used yesterday but it looks like this guy's got some freezing abilities that i'm kind of worried about so i don't really know how i feel about that either what i am gonna have to do though is grab a griffin or at least just something to fly me around the area craft up an omni tool because i gotta go and get my items back and this is the only way that i really see being able to do it like semi-successfully oh what a disaster this has become already okay teleport no 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 way no way am i gonna teleport into that cave we just we saw what happens when you appear next to this guy so i'm gonna have to fly over there instead then the question is is he still down there no oh he's come out oh he's come okay that's that's good uh, that kind of is good. It's it's a free pass to actually get my items back. So that's nice. And uh, yeah, old gorilla over there. Definitely looking a little worse for wear, unfortunately. But we've got our stuff. My poor penguin here got absolutely annihilated. <gasps> my penguin didn't even have a crystal on himself. He never stood a chance at all. Oh, the poor dude. Um, how about old gorilla? Yeah, he, got, he had his meats that I didn't even consume. What an absolute banana. All right, all right, all right. I think we're going to have to either try Dragon this time around or we're going to have to whip out a Rex. I'm kind of tempted to try the Rex just because, you know, why not? Um, and we got three of them. <laughs> so, like, you know, we've got to... We, we, but they're just going to... I'm just going to get dismounted from them. That's the problem. All right, let's go. We do not have any time to waste. We don't know how long this guy is going to be in our world for. So, we need to, you know... Make the most of every opportunity we have here. Guess he wasn't keen on staying all cooped up inside of the cave. He realized that we had a bit of a power advantage in there, I guess. I just need to lock on. He's full health again. No way. <gasps> wait. Yeah, no. Wait. They, yeah, these guys become invulnerable in the water, don't they? I forgot. Did I forget? It was only yesterday that we fought the thing. All right. Let me just, let me just test some things out here, eh? I just wanted to... Okay, so he's still got his little throwy attack. I'm just waiting to see what else he can do. Because I'm assuming he a lot stronger than his mega variant was yesterday. Okay, he can still leap up into the sky. Yep, I expected that. That is no surprise to anybody. Um, is he hyper aggressive? We've, we've dealt 100,000 damage to him. But I just need to... Well, I don't really know what I need. All right, let's, let's equip some of these. Or consume some of them, I, I should say. Oh, he's invulnerable because of that stinking. I'm about to get hit by his little grenades. No, thank you very much. All right. I got to get you out of that water, mate. I don't want you in that water. That water is really annoying. It he heals him and it makes him invulnerable. He's invincible. I can't do nothing to him while he's in there. So if we can get you away from the water, preferably. Also, I think there's a Mega Rex right there too. That doesn't... That's not great. <laughs> that's really bad as a matter of fact. Um, Hey, buddy. Buddy. Can you get... Oh, goodness. Here he comes. <laughs> he just appeared out of nowhere. Oh, he's going to jump straight back into that water too, isn't he? You better believe it. Okay. All right. Let's get strafing. So far, so good though. I think... Well, this seems to be a viable strat. Aside from the fact he keeps on getting invulnerable. And it's really annoying. 
In fact, he's in... Oh, he was in the water and he was in danger. Okay. Okay. I think as long as we don't get hit by his jumping attack, I should stay mounted on my guy here. The problem is that invulnerability. As long as he has invulnerability, I can't damage him. And that's where, you know, the real problems arise here. But hey, if we can take this guy down. Oh, he hit me with a grenade. That's going to potentially do some... Oh my goodness, look how many he's throwing up at us. All right, I'm going to take a little bit of a... A little bit of a seat here. I'm hoping to lure him over here for one, but two, I need stamina. And I need it very, very urgently. All right, I'm just going to sit back here. While all of those projectiles miss us. And then we're going to get back to blasting him. Oh, I should use the opportunity of him being up against the wall like that to actually hit him with some strong attacks. But honestly, so far, this is actually kind of working. Kind of working really well, as a matter of fact. It's kind of appearing like the same strategy we used against the Mega One may indeed work against the Uber as well. And that makes me really, really happy. <laughs> I'll be honest. It makes me really, really happy. What's he doing down here in the water again, though? All right. Okay. Not bad. Not bad. Sometimes I... Oh, gosh. I'm, I'm grounded. Oh, no. Go, 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 go. Oh, he's actually hit me with a few of his nades. Oh, they nearly put me to sleep, too. Oh, okay. 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 All right. We're just going to sit tight here for a second. Okay. Okay. Here we go. Oh, my goodness. There he's like... He just doesn't let up either. He just keeps them coming. Ooh. Okay. I do not actually know what happened just there. <gasps> Mega T-Rex? Why would Mega T-Rex? I mean, we must have hit a T-Rex at some point, but he decided to get himself involved. You pile of trash. Why would you do that? Um, I fear for the safety of my dragon right this second. One second. I need to craft up some things. Yeah, sure enough. Look at him. Uh, and I assume that he might be wailing on my dragon right this second. I don't even know where my dragon is. I saw it fly up to the sky, but there's the Mega Rex. There's the Mega... Is that my... No, that's the dead Mega Dragon that's on the ground there. Mine, I definitely saw fly up into the sky. Is he trying to get to it? What's happening here? I don't really know. He's... He's, he's still throwing stuff up. Oh, there you are. All right. Okay. Okay. Um, I might actually just be able to like transfer across. Let's try this out. I might just be able to do the old dip and dive and duck like that. Bam, pick you up. <laughs> hey, all right. <laughs> so despite us dying just then, uh, we are very lucky to be alive. The problem now is I got to get my stuff and that might be a bit of a challenge in itself. In fact, oh, I got the perfect idea. I have the perfect idea. I can do this. I can just land really quickly. Oh, my Kairuku just got killed though. Yeah, I figured, I mean, I figured that was, you know, the next thing to happen here. Okay, but we should be unaggroed. He shouldn't be angry with me or my dragon anymore. So it's going to give us a tiny little second here to work some stuff out. But unfortunately, yeah, that was just pain. That was just unlucky. We'll call that unlucky. Look at this mega dragon right here. He hit us with one of his projectiles and I just was not prepared for that. So I need to come here very quickly. I need to grab that. Grab that. Come on. Oh, I'm going to have to get closer, I guess. I can't do that. Okay. Is mega dragon going to get all angry or are we good? Let's just risk it. All right. We've got our stuff. All right. Let's get out of here. Okay. <laughs> oh, well, I didn't picture that happening. That's that's really unfortunate. Our armor isn't broken, but I do need to go get another little pygmy. I'll be right back. All right. Well, let's just have a look. I bet you he's entirely healed up now too. Two million health or what? Where's he at? Where's he at? You got full health again, mate? Oh, you do. Oh, how delightful. How delightful. All right, let's keep you away from that water. I don't want you despawning like two of your friends did yesterday. That was really annoying. I really sh I don't know why I did this out in the ice biome. I even summoned them in a different spot thinking maybe, you know, that'll kind of you know, give us some different, different experience. But no, it doesn't seem to be working in our favor. All right, we've got him angry. 
Let's go and lure him to a, I don't know, anywhere but right here. Because I'm not liking this spot right this second. Oh, he's angry. <laughs> he is angry. All right. Come on, mate. Come on, mate. Come on, mate. Follow me. What are you doing? Let's go. I feel like if I touch ground, it might give him the light, slightest little bit of confidence that he can actually take me on. It's like, come on, buddy. Like, come on. Come on. I know you want this. Do you want it as much as I want it, though? Some pretty good hits there. And we've just gone and collected one of his little grenades. It's fine. I think we can take, like, two or three of them before we fall asleep. But if we sit around for too long and we don't move around enough, we, we, that's exactly what's going to be happening. <laughs> We're going to be taking a lot of them hits. Also, get out of the water. I got to... You know what? I got to stop flying in the water. That's clearly what's up. Because whenever I go in the water or above the water, he just, you know, he likes to go for a bit of a dip. We got to prevent that. That's going to be our shortfall. All right. So here's where I'm at currently. I'm pretty confident that if I play my cards right, we can at least... we can, I think we can get the victory here. We literally just need to do what we did yesterday, except with 2 million health this time around and with a 30 minute timer. Since yesterday, we got it done in about 15 minutes. I'm pretty sure we can do that. But the longer our dude here just chills out in the water, the harder of a time we're going to have. Also, we got to make sure we ain't hitting the water either because that would also be a really, really bad situation. And right now I'm struggling to move. So that's bad. Oh, we are in bad trouble here. Okay, we're out. Oh my goodness, that was kind of terrifying for... Oh goodness. Has he got me? No, we're okay, we're okay. I'm just flying really slowly. So let's just try and keep moving. All right, nice. We're slowly luring him away from the water, which is really, really nice. He's back down at 200,000 health. So that's really, really cool too. But uh, obviously, that's only 10% of the battle. We've got another 90% to go. And, uh, you know, the, the current rate, things are moving. <laughs> We're not having a whole lot of luck getting anywhere further than this. Have I just angered... Have I angered the Mega Rex again? Because I'm seeing little... I think we have. Oh, maybe it's the Mega Rex that's grounding us and not the Dino Pit. That makes actual sense. It's not the Dino Pithecus that's doing this to us. It's, it's, the, it's the Mega Rex. There he is too. Oh, he is angry with us. Oh, you... Oh, no. That's not good. All right. I think, honestly, it's just this. It's just this. It's fly around in circles, hit him with them X's, not get hit by him when he's dropping his super cool abilities. Um, but yeah, like, really, when you think about it, we're on the cusp of having him down 25% health. I'm just not hitting him with my attacks, which is really rough. Um, and I just hit him with one right. Oh, we're right next to the Mega Rex. He's down to one point. Oh, we hit the Mega Rex too. Okay, okay. Look, I'm not going to waste any time. I need stamina. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to dip on over here really, really quickly. And I'm going to do the old switcheroonie. Pick him up. Throw him back out. That's my Griffin. Let's try again, shall we? Um, oh, goodness. What are we doing here? Griffin back up. I really shouldn't have my Griffin on me because it slows down the whole process of doing that. But it is what it is. It is what it is. It is what it is. Okay, let's keep this thing going. That was a brilliant hit. And more of those. There we go. All right, all right. It's the, it's, I'm liking this. It's the... What's he doing? I was going to say I couldn't actually see him, but I'm grounded. Interesting. 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 Am I, why am I grounded exactly? Did I get too close to the... I might have gotten too close to the Mega Rex. Because that's the Mega Rex's grounding ability. I don't actually know if that's the... It might be the Dinopithecus as well. I don't really know. But either ways, it's really, really annoying. I'm going to try and drop a seed attack on it right here. Bro! No. Please. Please. Please, no. I actually picked up my... I'm dead. <laughs> I'm so dead. <laughs> no, don't do it. No! <laughs> ah! Okay, that's fine. That's fine. I got my dragon. We lost our pygmy. Not the end of the world. Not the end of the world at all. I think what really throws me off for this battle is that it's very different to previous battles. And I say that because it doesn't rely on health potions. 
Normally, oh, he's full health again. Of course he is. Is that a... I thought I saw a, a Hellovis, but no, I think it was just a, I don't know, a bear or something. Most battles in this uh, in this mod rely on just having full health. This one kind of isn't in... It, it, that's not exactly how this one here works. You see, with this mod, I should not be like touching him right now. With this mod, it's... Well, with this boss, sorry, I should say. It's all about just not getting hit. You need a flawless battle against the uh, the Dinopithecus here. It's all about not getting hit. If you get hit, you get dismounted, you get frozen, you get stunned, you get poisoned, you fall asleep. Like it's it's that's what happens. If we get hit, we're in trouble basically. If we there's like no such thing as healing basically. If you got time to heal, you're lucky. Well, no, if you've got the opportunity to lucky uh, to heal, it means you're not dead. Um, the alternative is you're dead. That, that, that's all there really is to it. So, yeah. Uh, that's that's why this one here, I guess, is a little bit unusual. But I'm just going to keep on peppering him. And hopefully, very soon, he just, you know, up and disappears. In a good way. I don't want him to despawn. We, we need him to die. Not despawn. This is really bad right now. Oh, no. Not again. Please, please just ignore me, mister. <laughs> oh, this sucks so bad. All right, we've got him down to 1.4. So like, what's that? Like a third of the way through this thing. Also, I think that's a mega Hellovis that's currently charging towards us. So we got that to worry about now as well. Fantastic. Just what you want to be seeing when you're taking on an Uber. Uh, no, obviously not. <laughs> that's the worst thing in the world to be seeing right now. I mean, no, I take that back. There's a lot, there's a lot of far worse things that we could have aggroed. I mean, the Mega T-Rex, that was kind of grinding out gears earlier was the perfect example of what you don't want to be seeing anyways ultimately we are nailing some pretty good hits on the guy but we still got a long way to go and i'm gonna go and mute my mic now because i seem to have be having more luck when i'm not talking and yeah let's just let's just get this guy down All right, so I've decided to mix things up a little bit. I'm just, I don't know. I wouldn't say I'm getting bored of the fights, but more maybe just like, I don't know. Just looking for something a little different. So what I'm going to do is something very, very probably quite uh, stupid and unusual. And I don't know why I'm doing it, but I am going to. <laughs> oh, this is such a bad idea. I'm going to throw out some Mega Rexes and just unleash them at him and see what they do. Because I can't think of a good reason not to, basically. That's all that's really stopping me right here. So I'm going to throw my two Rexy boys down. And uh, I'm going to put my little blobby thing away. I'm going to get these guys to follow me. And I am going to send them to do my dirty work. And hopefully they listen. Uh, and hopefully, hopefully, I can just, just just go down there, will you? And then go and attack the giant monkey. Well, he's going to attack them in a second, surely. All right, come on, surely. There he goes. Okay, that's it. All right, surely the two of them can... Oh, he deals so much damage. Um, this might be... A, oh, is he coming for me? Oh, that was a mistake. Oh, did he hit me with any of those? I have no idea. Either way, he wants me. Um, my Mega Rexes, though, what are they doing? Are they doing anything? They're meant to be... They're meant to be attacking him. The, the, I, I don't know what they're doing. I don't know if they're doing anything. But... Oh, I just got frozen. Okay, not good. Oh, we're good. We're good. It's okay. No, false alarm. False alarm. It's okay. Dude, they've actually... <laughs> they're actually... They've actually got him beneath... Okay. I mean, I feel like I should be... Okay, maybe I should just sit here and contribute while they're doing that because, yes, they're copping a ton of damage, but they're also dealing... Oh, my goodness. Why did we just do this from the start? I was at the... Okay, are they still alive? Because they might not be. I have no clue. No, they're still alive. They're still kicking, and they're going to do it. <laughs> okay, I don't want to get too excited here because they still might die, but they... I'm just going to... I don't need to do anything. They did it. <laughs> what? Okay, then. Um, well, we did it, <laughs> I suppose. 
Uh, oh my goodness, they have like no health left. Oh, <laughs> okay. Um, let's have a look. Let's assess the damage here. 100, like literally a couple hits from dead and 40,000 health. 40, and they're still taking damage, by the way. I'm going to pick them both up because they were through getting pretty annihilated. Mate, rest in peace to you. Uh, you didn't take anyone from me. Not a single casualty. I, okay. All right. That's two heads down. Only one to go. What did we have to get for those drops? There it is. The Uber Dinopithecus head. Thank you. Oh, seven. Uh, I forgot these things even existed. I haven't used an unstable cable in so darn long that uh, I, I, I completely forgot they even existed. Also, why do I not have my charm on my hotbar? Huh. You're meant to be... Oh, wait, what? Oh, wait, did we get a new charm? Of course, we got a second charm. The charm was on the hot bar, but we got a new one because we just killed another Dinopithecus. It's still a mega Dinopithecus charm, but we got two of them. We got a backup. Not that we'll ever need a backup. We also got 6,500 element. We got a Raptor Chibi. We got a Karkonos Chibi. A bunch of armor and summons I don't really need. I don't know. I don't think I had these hearts to begin with. Either way, it doesn't matter. <laughs> we did it. That's two. That's two Ubers down and one to go. The only one remaining now is the Shadow Main, which I don't think we've got any in the wild, but I'm just... We do. Oh, I look, look, look. I think we got to at least just fly over, kill it, and then we'll just see what summons in. And on the chance that the Giga... The Uber Giga, the third and final of the Ubers, summons in. Uh, you know, like, well, I, I, I don't really know what happens next. Okay, I haven't thought that far ahead, so stop asking too many questions. But either ways, we're going to sit right here. We're going to breathe all over this poor little shadow main. He ain't going to know what hit him. And uh, look, let me just go and consume some of these to go and speed the process up just a touch. Uh, 300,000 health. Like, this guy's not even a threat. But I... Okay. This this could this could make this could make things very interesting. If this gives us what we need, tomorrow is gonna be a very interesting day. The third and final of the Uber battles is gonna be taking place. And if that is successful, we might be ready. We might be ready in the next couple days to take on the final boss of the Docs mod. I'm talking about the giant old Titan Overlord. I don't know if I'm ready for that. I'm definitely not ready for that. Let's just focus on this battle at hand first. But if this actually works out, I can't believe my two Rexes actually killed the Dinopithecus. And, and and just. They like they nearly died as well. But oh my goodness. I'm 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 a little bit in shock. Anyways, uh let's just do this thing. The poor guy's got like no health left, and neither do I. Um I'm just gonna fly up. I'm gonna hit them, and I'm gonna back myself out of here, okay? That is a Giga, but I don't think it is the Giga. And I'm a little bit... Wait, you're definitely not. Okay, good. All right, look, I wasn't planning on sitting around and fighting you, mate. But if you're going to force me to, I don't have much of a choice now, do I? Um, can I... Can I... Can I just fly away? I don't really... I don't really want to fight this Giga. I don't need to fight this Giga. You're the wrong Giga. Um, but I... I mean... Okay, well, I think we're kind of stuck here now. I think... Oh, no, we're out. We're out. Go, friend. Go. We're out of here. We're out of here. You're the wrong Giga. We'll we'll find the right Giga tomorrow. I swear of it. I'm so in trouble here, aren't I? All right, let's get out of here. Goodbye. Oh gosh. Oh, you pile of trash. Just let me go home, please. Let me go. Oh, you! I hate these. These things are so annoying. All right, take two or three, whatever this is. He still wants me. Go away, mate. Go away. And just for good measure, I'm going to go and pick him up in case the Giga follows us back to base. And we are donezo. Well, things just got really, really interesting.